In our last lesson, we looked at a few of the most common applications for personal video in the sales realm. For this lesson, we're gonna look at all the applications after the sale. As a fast growing business, customer lifetime value is the name of the game. Retaining customers for longer, getting them to buy more product or services, and getting them to tell their peers is essential. Your best customers are your super fans. To start, we will kick off with the number one most common use case for all of Bonjoro, welcoming new customers. Here's an example from Mad at ConvertKit, a technology company that is using Bonjoro to welcome new signups. Videos like this became a key part of reducing their company's churn by over 30% in the course of a few years. Shortly after implementing these welcome videos, Matt noted to me, two numbers we see are user churn for zero to seven and eight to 15 days, which are seeing significant decreases. The zero to seven day user churn just completed the best month ever. And eight to 15 day churn is the lowest since October, 2016. Why did this video specifically work so well? I think there's a few variables. Number one, he got personal to the customer situation, mentioning how they were using WordPress for their website. Number two, he acted like a real human. Remember when he ran into a branch? Number three, he got outside the office. Go mobile app. Here's a quick chart that shows just how impactful affecting churn by one to 2% can be. Churn, generally speaking, can be thought about in three groups. The first three months is what we call the adoption phase, where ease of use is the focus. Then from months three to 12, this is the results phase. This is where rubber meets the road. Can the product deliver results? And 12 months or more is what we call the sustainability phase. This is where we're checking, is there a burnout effect? How easily can new team members learn the platform? Are there attractive alternatives? The personal welcome videos like the above speak to that first phase of adoption by helping reduce that initial friction. Here's a sample template. If you're looking for a way to get more reviews and your automated requests haven't been cutting it, Personal video does exceptionally well here. Thanks to high click-through rates and targeted landing pages with just one specific call to action, users typically see four to five times the response rate with personal video against standard email asks when it comes to asking for reviews or feedback. Here's an example video from Monk Store, a top men's retailer in Denmark that used a CTA to ask for reviews after confirming a purchase. Hej Jens, jeg står her med din nye New Balance sko, som er klar til at blive sendt afsted til dig med posten i dag, og hvis alt går efter planen, har du den allerede i morgen. Ellers har vi bare en en god dag, og så kan du altid kontakte mig, hvis du har nogle spørgsmål. The video is effective because a it showcases the product. That's a creative way to stay top of mind and drill in that personalization. And B, they call the client by name. That creates a concierge experience. A bonus tip, tag customers on your next NPS or customer satisfaction survey when they give an eight plus out of 10 rank. Then based on that tag, have a Bonjoro task triggered to automatically be able to ask for that review from your customer advocates. Here is a sample template. Creating superfans is a process that takes work and continued dedication. Like every relationship, it's not just the honeymoon period that matters. Once the dust settles, your customers want to know that you still value them as individuals. The more you learn about them and can connect with that value, the more loyal and connected they will be over time. Take this phenomenal use case from Joan Gary, who runs one of the most successful nonprofit memberships in the world. She personally reaches out to her members when big notable things happen in their lives. It could be getting a big grant or donation. It could be someone's building a new facility, or it could even be something personal, like their kid just got into college or they just got married. Andrea, it's Joan from the lab. Um, so I'm on a staycation these last two weeks and uh, um, doing a little bit of work, a little bit of reading and this doesn't feel like work. I wanted to just reach out to you and say um, that I cannot believe that Kayla is starting college. That's just crazy. And I cannot imagine the range of emotions that you feel, uh, both in terms of how proud you are of her, how anxious you are on her behalf, um, a lot to carry. And um, 
anyway, I just wanted you to know I was thinking about you and um, uh, I think you know it. Uh, you're sort of one of our originals and one of our favorites, Kayla too. And uh, please let her know um, we're rooting for her and um, I'll see you around the lab, but just wanted to say, hey, I know it's been a sort of a weird, tough week for you. So be well. Another great use case comes from the CXL team. They do milestone celebrations with customers when they finish an intensive mini degree. See this example below. Hi, Alvina. My name is Annie. I'm the marketing coordinator here at CXL, and I just want to take a moment and say congratulations on completing your mini degree in digital analytics. It's a long one, and it's a hard one, but you did it, and we are so proud of you. If you have any questions on how to get that certificate up on LinkedIn, you can follow this link right here, or if you're on your mobile device, it's going to be at the bottom of the screen, and that's going to give you a step-by-step -step instruction list on how to get that posted. Once again, we are so proud of you and cannot wait to see where this takes you. Welcome to the top 1%. These videos are so effective because they make the recipient feel like they're part of a community. They build that affiliation component that makes someone keep coming back and have them telling their friends. In short, they help create super fans. Here's a sample template. Have you ever been searching for an old email so that you can copy and paste a response to a commonly asked question? I know I've been there. Thanks to Bonjoro's screen recorder, you can easily record a video, screen, webcam, or screen and webcam, and store it in the video library. That way, when you get the same question time and time again, you can simply drop it in and send. It makes things easy and provides a great experience for the customer. Here's an example video I send when people ask about our integration with ActiveCampaign. Hi everyone, this is Casey from the Bonjoro team. And I just wanted to take a quick moment to kind of explain the new Active Campaign to Bonjoro integration and a little bit about just what Bonjoro is too. So at Bonjoro, we're a personalized video email tool and we allow people to seamlessly from either a desktop or their phone, record a personal video and send it out to um, someone who's part of their community, a new customer, a new opt-in, et cetera. And now that we've built in with Active Campaign, at any point in an Active Campaign automation, you can create that trigger that will then pop up a notification in Bonjoro to record a video. So I'm going to kind of just walk through exactly what this looks like, um, and hopefully it'll be a helpful tour through how this connection works. So the first thing is, let's, I'm inside of an automation, as you guys can see here. Let's start by saying we wanted to personally welcome each new opt-in to our list. So we'd grab that trigger. Go ahead and just add that start. Then it's gonna take us to the actions. So we're gonna click on CX apps, create a Bonjoro task, and we're gonna add it in. Now the first thing you're gonna to need to do if you're using this, you're obviously going to need to have a Bonjoro account um, and then you're gonna to need to connect that account. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click connect and it is now connected. Now, um, I believe I've already done this once before. So this is the first time someone's doing it. It should pop up with a little authorize screen and they should be able to click yes, authorize. And basically it'll have them like log in through to their Bonjoro account. And through logging into that Bonjoro account, it'll basically prompt them to, uh, once they've done that, it will authenticate and create that connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. So the next piece here is a campaign. So the way that we're using that terminology is think of a campaign in Bonjoro almost as a group. So this is going to be, okay, you're creating this task to record them a video. In our case, you know, we would say new signups as an example, because someone just opted in on a form. So we put them into that new signups category or group. We would assign it to someone on the team. And then we would add in any kind of note or context. And it's important to note that we can grab any personal field um, out of the system here too. So for instance, let's say that we wanted to know um, their first name. We could then just hit this little personalized thing, grab first name, and it will bring in that merge field. So someone can kind of pre-organize this to make it seamless to basically get the personal information they want. Then they would just hit finish. And ta-da, we have a create a Bonjoro task. So that's really a simple, uh, that's really um, how simple it is to create this. And again, what is happening from this specific element is it is then going to create a task in the Bonjoro system that'll pop up and say, you need to record this person a personal 
video. So this can be used in a ton of different applications. Let's say you wanted to have a date based trigger right before this and say, I want to send a personal thank you on everyone's birthday. So on that person's birthday, it would pop up, hey, you got to record a, a message for Jane and for Joe today. It's their birthdays. And the person could just go in there and record. Um, this can also be something that you can use in response to just a standard trigger like we showed here, welcoming new subscribers to your list, welcoming new customers who just purchased from you, celebrating milestones. I mean, there's a ton of different use cases. And we'll have a lot of those recipes out in the marketplace too for people just to be able to plug in. But one more time, just to recap from the top, kind of what people need. They're going to need to have a Bonjoro account, which they can go to bonjoro.com and sign up. There's a 14-day free trial, so they're welcome to kind of trial it out first. Once they have that, and once they click on adding that Bonjoro element for the first time, it's going to take them to a screen where it's going to act, ask them to authorize. Once they hit authorize and log in through Bonjoro, then the account will be connected, and you'll basically follow from there straight to the screen that we looked at before. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to our team um, at support at bonjour.com or me directly, Casey at bonjour.com. Thank you. This is also a great way to explain an issue inside of someone's account. And this is a common application for customer support teams that are using Bonjour. Sometimes sending a video email can just be a way to save time from having to write up several paragraphs of text. This sample template highlights that. Every year, around Christmas time, the team here at Bonjoro dons our best festive attire and starts to send out holiday Bonjoros. They are without fail the highest engagement videos we send. There's no specific thing we need to do with them, no agenda, just goodwill and reminding people that they're valued. Whether it's a holiday message or a birthday, which you can trigger a task for easily if you have a connection in with your CRM, the point is to make the customer smile. Here's an example video of what a customer would receive. Hey there, Christine. Mike Roberts here from Verbate and Bonjoro and co-organizer of Sid PHP and seeing you at various meetups uh, around town. Uh, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It was great to meet you this year. Um, I hope you have an excellent 2017. Uh, if you're curious what I've been up to as a software developer, well, you're looking at it. Uh, Bonjour is one of our apps. Uh, so in any case, main reason for me messaging you today is just to say Merry Christmas. Thanks for connecting with me this year and all the best for the next. Take care. Notice here, Mike includes all the personal context he has with that contact to drive home the impact. In this lesson, we talked about all the different applications for a customer success or customer support team. For your assignment, I want you to create a profile of your best customers. What industry are they in? How old are they? What features do they use the most? By creating this profile, it's going to help you see where personal video can slide in and be effective in your business.